What is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here with you another video and today we have Aviation News This Week Episode 75. We're going to get started right here with the news, starting with three more airlines that could have gone bankrupt. Yes, it did the top 10 airlines to go bankrupt in 2021. That video did pretty well. And we're going to talk about three more airlines. And the first one here is Virgin Atlantic. They did actually file for bankruptcy earlier this year. However, if I'm correct, they have successfully come out of bankruptcy or they are currently in the process of doing so and they were given a parcel bailout by the United Kingdom. So Virgin Atlantic has been in some deep waters recently, particularly as they ran out of money very quickly with the virus, but uh, they should be alright, at least for now. We'll have to wait and see on that one, but they should be fine. The next one is Interjet, and a lot of you guys told me about this one. I'll put up one comment in particular that gives a lot of in-depth details on it. You can just read that comment if you want to know everything you need to know about the Interjet bankruptcy. But uh, basically, their thing is they've been in hot water since 2019. They've had some financial difficulties, and uh, they have even been given an advisory by the Mexican government recommending people not to fly on them. That's just how currently unstable they are. They only are operating five aircraft currently and only on a few routes only inside of Mexico. They're in really bad shape and uh, they might not even survive the end of this year. That's just how bad it is. And then next up we have Air India. This is a similar situation to South African where they continue to lose money but because the government owned they're probably not going to go bankrupt anytime soon. So as bad of an airline overall as Air India is, they're probably just going to continue to exist. But I put them on the list here because it's something that has to be noted. And now for the pictures of the week. We have a lot of them this week submitted by you guys. And first off, we have a picture here by um, Aviation737. He sent in this picture of the United CR2 on the ground at Roanoke. You can see the beautiful mountains there of the Appalachia in the background. And I wanted to share this picture. And uh, yeah, so we'll put that one in. And then next up, we have this picture by Aviation04. This is of the Sun Country tail. This is on a charter at Syracuse, New York. This aircraft was here for a charter for, I believe it was, the Syracuse football team. The next picture that we have is of an American Eagle E-170. This was taken at Des Moines International Airport by Aviation DSM. This aircraft is November 124, Hotel Quebec. It is a former U.S. Airways E-170 operating for public and now operating under the American Eagle brand. But uh, this aircraft is one of those older E-170s as you can see with the smaller winglets. They now have the quote <coughs> enhanced winglets on their newer aircraft. Uh, these older E-170s are starting to get kind of rare. There are so many new ones flying around compared to these older ones. But these are getting kind of rare. So very nice shot by you, good saw. Very glad to feature them. Next up, we have some spotting pictures by Red River Aviation. These were taken on November 25th, 2020 at Tulsa International Airport. And we're going to go through some of these here. Uh, we're going to take a couple weeks to go through the but um, These were taken on the 25th, as I mentioned. And uh, the day started off being cloudy with the runway 3618 right being used. And um, the very first pictures you'll see are of some... Tulsa based F-16 Vipers, which is super cool. You can see these two here taxing in. The next up we have an all white American Eagle CRJ-900. This one is registered as November 242 Lima Romeo. And this is a really cool aircraft. There are a few of these all gray American CR-9s. There's only a few of them, but it's really cool to see them. So very cool shot for him. The next interesting shot I want to show you is of this Delta 717. This guy is just taxiing past the camera. It is November 990 Alpha Tango. I believe it's the same aircraft that we featured on a previous episode. And um, as you can see, there are some liftings in the clouds with some sun coming down. It makes some excellent contrast pictures. And you can see here's another picture of just the ramp area of a bunch of stored American aircraft. You can see a little bit more of the contrast. Moving over to the ramp, we have this excellent contrast shot here of this American Airbus A320 parked at the ramp with the sun sign on it and the ominous clouds in the background. That is some very nice photography by you good saw. The American A320 is November 679 Alpha Whiskey. That is a former American West aircraft. Initially acquired by American West. Then B-52 
became US Airways when the merger happened, and then became American Airlines when that merger happened. And then finally, we're going to end today's sewing of these pictures by Red River Aviation by sewing the cargo ramp. Here we have a Kalita Charters B-74, aircraft will be heading to Cincinnati. And then we have a UPS 767, who will be heading to Louisville. And then finally, to end today's pictures, we have this awesome picture submitted by a viewer. I actually met him on uh, Tyler Zed's Discord server, and he sent over this awesome picture. And this is of the beautiful Delta A321, the thank you livery, November 391, Delta November. This picture was taken at Minneapolis St. Paul on the 3rd of September 2020 at the aircraft viewing area by the cargo ramp. It's a pretty cool area, it's a place I'd love to visit sometime. And uh, yeah, excellent shot by you, good sir. This will be in the thumbnail for sort. Excellent picture. I want to thank you guys so much for these photo submissions. If you want to submit your own photo to the Aviation News this week, so. The email link will be down in the description. You just copy and paste that into your email browser and send me your pictures. I will screen them and if I approve, you'll get a notification from me saying that I approve the image. Uh, also, I do reject some images because obviously I have quality standards. So yeah, submit your images and your photos could be on the show. So with that being said, we'll move on to Fleet News. And next up, we move on to Fleet News and we're going to talk about the 777-200. So I've been covering in recent episodes about 777-200 retirements because some airlines have announced their retirements of them, including Delta retired at 777-200s, United has retired, no, oh, they're going to retire some, Cathay Pacific has retired a bunch, Singapore is retiring them, Only Pawn Airways is retiring them, and the trend is that the 777-200 is going into retirement. And mostly this is because these are particular older ones that are going to retirement that are 20 plus years old. And the aircraft is just reaching the end of its life and it's time for new aircraft. But another big another big development in the story is that newer aircraft have since come out. So for Boeing, they have the 787-10, which is basically an exact replacement for a 777-200, but it uses 25% less fuel, which is a big deal. There's also the A350-900, which advertised it uses, I believe, 25-30% less fuel than the 777-200, which is a big deal. So a lot of airlines have opted for that. United is still yet to receive their first A350. And then there is also the old brand new, still yet to fly to be mentioned, the old brand new 777X. And the Dash 8 version in particular will be a very nice, perfect replacement for 777-200. So basically 777-200s are being retired as airlines are getting replacements for them. Singapore and only Pollen are getting the 787-10 and so they're replacing the 777s and putting the Dash 10s on those routes and in many cases the Dash 9 as well for the 787 and Cathay Pacific they are replacing 777-200s with the AC 50s United they are going to be replacing 777-200s with the 787-10s and the AC 50s when they get those assuming they do still get those they keep pushing the delivery date farther and farther down the road but it will be interesting to see what happens to 777 in my opinion, the life of the 777 is coming to an end. I don't really see this aircraft staying in mainline service for really more than 5 or 10 years. 10 years at most. But I really think for the next 5 years, most airlines will retire the 777-200. just is the reality of the way the industry is. New aircraft come into favor, old aircraft go out. It just is the reality. I don't like it that way necessarily, but it's the way it is. Next up, Ryanair has announced an order for an additional 75 737 MAX 8 200s. These are the ultra high capacity valves in the 737 MAX 8 that can carry 200 people. You will note that there is an extra emergency door there required for the additional capacity. This will bring Ryanair's order of MAXs up to 210, which is a huge order list that they are going to get from the MAX 8s. And I believe there are some MAX 9s in there as well. But uh, yeah, this is a huge order for Ryanair. They will be getting quite a few. And it will be interesting to see if there are some other airlines that are going to order the MAX now that recertification is almost guaranteed in most countries, particularly with Brazil and the United States having already recertified the type. I suspect that Delta will make an order for the MAX. It just seems that they will order the MAX or the A320neo here in the near future. So it wouldn't surprise me if that occurs in the next year or two if they make that announcement. But uh, there could be some other carriers that announce orders for MAX as well. We obviously are still not sure what IAG group, International Airlines group, will send their MAXs to. 
Um, a lot of rumors are that they will go to level air in British Airways, but we still don't know for soy where all those, I believe it's 200 maxes will go to. And then for other fleet news, we have this livery for the brand new Pakistan Cargo Airlines Air Falcon. This will be their very first aircraft. This aircraft registers Alpha Papa Dash Bravo November Zulu. This aircraft was taken on the 15th of October 2020, and this is a Boeing 737-3H4, so formerly a Southwest Airlines aircraft. And I believe this Pakistan Airline Air Falcon will begin several former Southwest Airlines 737s. Next up, another new airline. This will be the first aircraft for Air Seal. I believe that's how I pronounce it. I'm sorry AS Aviation will be correcting me in the comments if I do get wrong again. But I believe it's pronounced Air Seal. They'll begin their very first aircraft, and this is it right here. This is an A320 232, registered as Alpha Papa Bravo Oscar Alpha. And then finally, we have the very first A320 Neo for Baltic Air. This is an A320 251 Neo, registered as Papa Kilo Bravo Delta Foxtrot, taken on the 4th of December. So, yeah, this is a sort of episode of the normal of Aviation News Week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm really excited to get to 1K because I have a couple of very big announcements to make when we get there. In fact, I actually have two and I'm really excited about both of them. We are getting very close to 1,000 subscribers. We just passed 950 uh, the day before I'm recording this, which was Monday. And it's now Tuesday, the day that I'm recording this. This video will go up Wednesday, assuming the engine models releases don't come out then. And if, that's, if the releases do come out Wednesday, this video will go up Thursday. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this AVS News Week episode coming out later than expected, so you can expect the next episode to come out soon thereafter. But anyway, one, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers, and I'm really excited to make some big announcements at that time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. God bless.